Questions numbers 9 through 14 refer to a weighted voting system. 35 is the quota. 32, 15, 10, and 3 with four players, player 1, player 2, player 3, and player 4. So remember, these this is our quota, 35. That's the minimum number of votes needed to meet the quota. And then 32 represents the number of votes that player 1 needs. 15 represents, or sorry, is the number of votes player 2 controls. Player 3 and player 4. Okay, so what is the weight of the coalition? 2, 3, 4. That means we're going to take their votes and add them together. So I'm going to do 15 plus 10 plus 3. Um, that would be 25 plus another 3. That's 28. So the weight of that coalition is 28. Is this a winning coalition? No, it's not a winning coalition because it doesn't meet the quota. So they don't have enough combined votes to win. Does any player have veto power in the weighted voting system? Now, veto power means that you can't win by yourself, but if you don't say yes, the other people can't win without you. They can't combine their votes to win without you. So we already know this. Um, there is player one has veto power because if you remove player one, uh, who has 32 votes, then 15, 10, and 3, they can't combine their votes to win without him. If you take out player two, however, player two is out, then... Um, the remaining players, one, three, and four, have well over the quota. And so they, um, they don't need player two to win. And if player two doesn't have veto power, then three and four won't either. So what does this imply about any way winning coalitions? It means that player one must be present. Okay. Or else it's not going to be a winning coalition. Um, list the winning coalitions, how many are there? So I'm going to go over to, this is all the possible. Remember with Banzoff, there are two to the n minus one possible coalitions. So we had four players, which meant that um, two to the fourth, that's 16, minus one is 15. Um, there's our uh, 15 coalitions. Now I know that we don't have anybody with veto power because nobody has enough votes to win by themselves. So one, two, three, and four all by themselves, those are losing coalitions. 1 and 2 combined to have 47 votes, they could win. 1 and 3 combined to have 35 votes, they could, oh, sorry, uh, 42 votes, they could meet the quota. 1 and 4 combined to have 35 votes exactly, it's still enough to meet the quota. 2 and 3 only have, tw oh, crossed off the wrong one, got carried away, let me try again. 2 and 3 only have 25 votes, not enough votes to win. 2 and 4 only have 18 votes, not enough votes to win. 3 and 4 only have 13, not enough votes to win. 1, 2, and 3, well, if 1 and 2 have enough, then 1, 2, and 3 will, and 1, 2, and 4 will. And if 1 and 3 can win by themselves, then 1, 3, 4 is definitely a winner as well. Um, 2, 3, and 4, we've already checked. 2, 3, and 4 only had 28. That's not a winner. And the grand coalition is always a winning coalition. So the winning coalitions are 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, and the Grand Coalition, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Um, what players in the Coalition, 1, 3, are critical players? So critical players kind of like veto power on a small scale. If you have veto power, it means if you're removed from the weighted voting system, the other players can't possibly win without you. Um, a critical player is someone who, in a winning coalition, because right now 1 and 3 together have, um, 1 and 3 have 42 votes together. So right now they're winning. And a critical player is someone that if he changes his mind and drops out of this coalition, that the other player can't keep the win going. So since no one can win by themselves, that means if player one decides to get out of this coalition, player three can't win by himself. Player one is critical to this remaining a winning coalition. Same thing with player three. If I remove player three, player one only has 32 votes. That's not enough to win. So my winning coalition would turn into a losing coalition. Now I'm going to go ahead and mark that over here as well. Player one and player three are both critical. Which players in the coalitions one, three, four are critical players? Okay, so I'm just going to check one at a time. I know that player one has 32. 
and player three has 10 and player four has three. All right. If, and right now they have enough to win. They're a winning coalition. If I take out player one, three and four only have 13 votes. That's not enough votes to win without player one, which makes player one a critical player. If I take out player three, one and four have 35 votes. That's enough to meet the quota, which means they don't have to have player three there to remain a winning coalition. So player three is not critical. And if player three is not critical, then player four is not going to be critical. So in the coalition one, three, four, only player one is critical. The next question says, find the bands off power distribution for the weighted voting system. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to go back and do steps 12 and 13 for all the winning coalitions. Okay. That's our first step. So one and two. Uh, one and two is the winning coalition. Nobody can win on their own, so both of those people are going to have to be there. Same thing for one and four. If either one or four decide to drop out, that's going to take them down to a single person, and those are all losing groups. Um, player one, two, and three. If I take out player one, two, and three, you can do this one of two ways. You can either say two and three only have 25 votes. That's not enough votes to win. Or you can say if I take out player one, I'm left with two, three. I've already marked two, three off as a losing group, so I know player one has to be there. If I take out player two, I've already marked one, three as a winning group, which means one and three don't have to be, or sorry, two doesn't have to be there. Or you could think if I take out player two, one and three have 42 votes combined, which is enough votes to win. So player two is not critical to that win. He doesn't have to be there. And if player two is not critical, then three won't be either. In one, two, four, player one is, not, um, is critical because if I take player one out, two and four don't have enough votes to win. If I take out player two, one and four have 35 votes. That's enough votes to win. So player two is not critical, which means player four won't be. In the grand coalition, if I take out player one, uh, two, three, and four, remember they only have 28. That's not enough votes to win. So player one is critical. If I take out player two, one, three, and four have plenty of votes to win. So player two is not critical. Now, sometimes you might have lots of people critical in a coalition. Other times you may have one. And it's also possible for no one to be critical in a coalition. So you have to physically check each person in every coalition. So find the bands of power distribution. So the first thing we do is we underline, we check all of our underlines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There were ten critical players that we underlined, 10 critical players that we found. The bands off power index gives everyone a fraction or tells how that power, how those 10 are distributed. So player one, I underlined him one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of the 10 times. So that's like saying that he holds 70% of the power. Player two, I underlined one time out of the 10 times. That's 10% of the power. Player three was underlined one time out of the 10 times. That's 10% of the power. And player four was underlined one out of the 10 times. That's 10% of the power. So this tells us a couple of things. Um, the first is that player two, three, and four are equally powerful. It also tells us that no one is a dummy. No one is a dummy because um, a dummy would have 0% of the power. So with bands of power index, you go through each uh, of the winning coalitions, okay, so you don't have to look back at the losing coalitions, just the ones that have enough votes to meet the quota, and you check for critical players in each of them. That's going to give you a bottom number, and I, I really just get that by counting how many there were. There were two in this one, and two in this one, and two in this one, and then one, and one, and one, and one. There's ten of those. Okay, so you underline how, you check how many underlines you have. Say, of those underlines, how many, or what percentage of the time was any particular player um, the one underlined out of there.